Yo, welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. All right, so let me go ahead and give you guys a Married to Medicine update. Just last night, Dr. Heavenly and uh, podcaster, blogger, and TV producer, Mr. I forgot. <laughs> Why did I forget his name? Carlos King. Carlos King, they went on to YouTube Live and basically ran down. Child, I don't know why that took me. I'm like, what is this man's name? They uh, recap the latest episode of The Real House. They recap Married to Medicine. Okay, listen. So uh, they talked about the bridesmaids, bridesmaids, bridesmaids. So remember at the bachelorette party, right? How uh, Sweet Tea, she had a mental breakdown because Johnny from Candy's Camp caught her up talking about some, we need an extra $13,000, $14,000 for the drapery and the chairs and the food and the priest, right? The priest did not get his deposit, okay? We had to change venues. We got to pay the hotel. They had it at the Starling. And it's so weird and ironic because, you know, Heavenly had her daughter's prom the same day that Sweet Tea was getting married at the Starling in Atlanta. And I had my prom at that hotel when it was the W. Anyways, really cute hotel. Nice hotel. Um... So, yeah, but remember, okay, so she was, you know, on the phone with Johnny. Then she had a mental breakdown because the sister was trying to console her and whatnot. And she threw her phone down and was like, I'm not fucking with you. And this, that, and the third, like really going crazy. I think, you know, sweet tea to be marrying a psychiatrist. It's so funny how the psychiatrist is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and the woman marrying the psychiatrist is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. How are you guys so interconnected with mental health? And it just seems like... Okay. Listen, I want Sweet Tea to come on my channel. So I can't really be going in on Sweet Tea because I really do like Sweet Tea. She single-handedly saved Mary to Medicine. Okay? Without Sweet Tea, what would we be talking about? Anyway, so yes. So after she had the mental breakdown, Dr. Heavenly decided, okay, well, this is her opportunity to basically let it be known that she's not ready to be married. And she basically low-key trashed uh the marriage right before they could even you know, walk down the aisle. And apparently one of the members of Sweet Tea's bridal party, uh, bridal shower was, you know, I guess upset and kind of checked Heavenly during filming. Check this out. Her friend next to me had words to me, like Heavenly, this is kind of fucked up that you, 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 you know, you went out with her. She looks up to you. She's a part of your universe. And I said, that's a grown m and for the woman. Like the little girl, you know, I had to set the other little girl straight. Like, girl, who are you talking to? So we had that. And then we also had the fact that Sweet T said that Dr. G was going to whoop her ass. Um, and I think that's because they were talking about the $14,000 and Kwai had came into the situation shading her, talking about some, well, I don't know what he got going on now. But when I was with him, he had it. I'll chip in. Phaedra was like, I'll chip in. Heavenly was like, I'll Venmo you five bucks. And then according to Heavenly, Sweet T stated that Dr. G was going to whoop, sorry about my blanket, her ass. And then Phaedra told her, baby, don't say that. Check this out. I said, Quad, you need to give money for the wedding because everybody giving. She said, let me, let, let me tell you something. He had the money with me. I don't know why he's being skimpy with you, um, sweet tea. What's your name, sweet? She read the girl for Phil. Then the girl sitting there and she looked cross-eyed. And she said, girl, I'm going to get my ass whipped. <laughs> And then Pope Phaedra said, this is, a, this, is why, this is why I love Phaedra. Phaedra said, baby, don't say that. Now, Phaedra was saying, baby, don't say that, baby, don't say that, because baby should know that there are rumors, allegations, and accusations that he is not, you know, um, a, that he's allegedly put his hands in places that they don't belong. Okay specifically women okay so don't incriminate your new husband on the tv screen now she could have been joking maybe she was over exaggerating maybe she was just speaking you know just stream of consciousness just you know but still okay uh do y'all think dr g whoops ass women's asses you know in particular let me know in the comments down below. I would hope not. Listen, uh, Heavenly is being so mean, but you know what? I love it. I low-key love it. Like, Heavenly, like, I'm telling y'all, Heavenly 
Phaedra, Sweet Tea, and Quad. Those four, they are the show. And I feel like Heavenly is being so messy. I feel like Heavenly is being a fake friend to Letitia. Okay? Heavenly is on this, um, you know, on her YouTube channel talking about how Letitia is going around saying that Heavenly made her get drunk and spill her tea. But I don't think that's what Letitia is trying to say. What Letitia is trying to say is that Heavenly is being deceitful. Okay? Heavenly pretended that she was offering Letitia a safe space to spill her tea about her upcoming wedding and her marriage and turns to find out it was not a safe space. You deceived her, okay? And there was a level of trust there because Dr. Heavenly, quiet as kept, was this woman's mentee before she even got on the goddamn show. So you deceived her allegedly into thinking that you were providing a safe space for her to vent her feelings on the TV screen. And then you turned around, you went onto the internet and you basically said that her body looked like a 67 year old woman. Dr. Heavenly now was on the internet claiming that uh, Sweet Tea's budget for the wedding was only $10,000, which is very frugal for Bravo standards. Check this out. He waited to the bachelorette party Called Sweet Tea about fourteen thousand. Now, mind you, they budget was ten thousand total for the whole oh, wedding. Ten thousand dollars. So another fourteen was double the budget, more than double. But like Phaedra kept shading and talking about her cake cost ten thousand. And what would this recap be without heavenly trashing Letitia's wedding? Watch this. Anyway, the venue changed. Production paid for the food. And, and to me, the wedding <laughs> couldn't cost that much. Because if you look at it, them kind of chairs, you could have got them chairs from Party City. There was 200 chairs there. I said it was about maybe 84 people there. They pushed the people up. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that many people. And then the shit was over like that. Then you see Johnny and his friends picking up the flowers to take to another room for the reception. Like it was low budget. Like, and then they had the curtains, which he said cost a lot of money, but them shits was wrinkled. I mean, y'all ain't had no steam or steam and shit. Now the food was good. Now the beef wellington, which this bitch probably ain't ever ate in her life. The beef wellington was good. Now the, pro the food was good. Y'all, this YouTube video got so bad that, uh, you know, I don't know if Heavenly was joking, but she basically said that uh, she was going to object to Sweet Tea and Gregory's wedding. I hope that was a joke. Watch this. My whole thing was that was the quickest wedding I ever seen in my life. And I swear for Jesus, I was waiting on them to say the part, if you have a problem with this shit, stay, speak now. I was going to get up. But they got me in after that part. Uh, uh, <sighs> mm. Mm. Was she really going to object? <sighs> Imagine that really happening. I mean, listen, <laughs> that would have been reality television gold. But I think she was joking. I think she was joking. Listen, sometimes you just got to let people who are in love do what they want to do. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day. Bye.